good evening. So, I hope you guys are having a good evening and that you are going to hang around. Let me know where you're coming in from. We are expecting like tons of rain here and I heard that some people have snow. <laughs> How crazy is that? This is October. Um, you know, don't turn into the pumpkin. We have the pumpkin, lots of kids out trick-or-treating, things going on. And, you know, don't be the pumpkin. I'm going to stay with me on this, right? For those of you that don't know me, I'm Beth Bolas. And um, we are, don't be the pumpkin in your family that has the meltdown, that turns upside down. I saw a, a pumpkin the other day that had already had the candle in it for a while. It had become to, to disintegrate, right? Don't be that. Let's talk about how you can do, not become that pumpkin. And Henry Heller, and he is my friend from, where are you? He's coming on. From um, outside of Chicago. And my computer is adding you, Henry. Um, and so he should be here in just a moment. And Henry is um, uh, a dad of three kids, teenagers at that. And, you know, sometimes we kind of have you ever found yourself going, I'm working, I'm working so hard. I don't have time to do the things that I want to do, but I've got to do them because that's my responsibility. I'm the parent. I'm the, the caregiver. I'm the I've got to make sure that all these things are taken care of, that the bills are paid, that the house mortgage is paid, that all of those things. And I don't know, Henry, I'm trying to bring you on. It didn't exit, didn't do it. Um, let me see if I can send you another request. Um, and, you know, we have to take care of ourselves because it is hard. Uh, those of you that know that, um, how hard it is sometimes to go, oh gosh, you know, we have Christmas coming up. What are we going to do to make sure that we are um, taking care of, uh, of ourselves? Henry, that in invite is still out there populated. I cannot invite you in again. Can, do you see it? Um, it has that you have been invited in. Um, so see if you can accept it. See if Yvonne's around to help you out. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I get tired sometimes of the, I know when I was in that mode of always feeling yuck and always feeling like I didn't feeling good, that people got tired of hearing me saying, oh, here we go again. Um, I'm not feeling good. I'm not able to eat this because my stomach's hurting me. Or no, I don't want to go out because I can't eat that kind of food because it makes me sick. It makes my stomach hurt. And so I had really disengaged from so much. Henry, can you shoot me a message if you can't um, get in? There you are. Yes. All right. I'm going to add you and you should be able to come in. All right. And so... Um, there are some things sometimes that we that that when we get in that mode, we just don't know how to get out of it. Um, so there's so many things that we need to do to help ourselves. Um, sometimes we don't quite know what that tool is. We don't know what it is that we need to do to get ourselves out of that funk, to get us ourselves out of that stuck space. My iPad says that it is adding you, Henry, and I I have accepted it. It says it's connecting. Um, and it's coming on. So Henry has been just gotten home. He has been working all day. He's been on the road for a couple hey, of days. Hey, I see you too, hey, Beth. Henry, How are I you? See you. Can you hear me good? Can you hear me? I'm doing good. He has been on the road. I can. A couple You've been days, on the road yep. for a while, haven't you? I know all day today, and yep. I think even yesterday some. Yeah, so he's just now getting in. Um, they're a little bit uh, earlier than us, so he hasn't even had a chance to even stop and have dinner and take care of him yet. But that's the cause, right? You have some special uh, plans tonight. You know what? Tonight. I haven't seen my wife yet, so I, I guess so. Yeah, I think we are going out for dinner or something of that nature. Yeah. <laughs> um, so 
So tell me, Henry, tell me some of the stuff. Um, I know that um, since I met you, um, I don't even think we've met in person, maybe just what? here. Through Beth, you don't remember? You don't remember? Video, right? That special night? <laughs> Come on, that special. No. <laughs> no, no I, I don't think we not. have. <laughs> I don't think we have that. No, so listen, um, I mean, just, just, you dropped a picture like the other day where you had taken your yeah. dog to go get it groomed and you'd gotten your hair cut too. And I'm going, Oh gosh, I haven't seen Henry in so long. He's, he's lost so much weight. What has he done? But you stay so busy. What is your take on trying to, because that transition from the first pictures I saw of you and Yvonne to now are so incredibly different. What did you figure I think, out? Uh, we've, determined that it's best to take care of ourselves. Uh, I, you know, in, in all honesty, after uh, Yvonne had a health scare back in 2011, uh, two, yeah, 2011, um, afterwards, mm -hmm. she just kind of like got very focused and put her health above everything else. So she was the one who kind of like started, uh, you know, that investigating a little bit more, um, feeding her body nutrients, different nutrients, and, you know, feeding it premium fuel, if you will, that I would hear her say. But, but during that time that, that Yvonne yeah. was sick, your kids were really young. Oh, yeah, they were. And you were the caregiver. You were the caregiver of not just the kids, but Yvonne and her, the, the extra care that it took, took for her not feeling good going through chemo. Yeah. So... What, where did that put you? With um, your own you know what? You got to do what you got to do. Uh, she's my wife. I've got a wife and kids. So you know what? You do what you have to do. And uh, in all honesty, it was a stressful time. But, um, you know, things, uh, things went well. Um, yeah, that's uh, we just had to take care of what needed to be taken care of, which is, you know, Yvonne, the kids going to school, lunches, uh, just pretty much anything and everything. Still, I had, uh, you know, bills to pay. Very concentrated, if you will, with tasks, um, work, just a whole bunch of things that needed to be done. Yeah, and and so as, as a parent, um, as a dad, I mean, you found yourself um, really carrying the weight of everything there for a while. And after you've gone through a really stressful situation, some things happen to our bodies that we don't control because that stress makes our body um, pack on the pounds because it chemically like just messes everything up inside of us. Um, and sometimes that takes a little while to kind of get straightened out. And I know you've talked to some of your friends, um, some of your men friends about taking care of themselves. And you had something happen just this past week. Share a little bit about that. That kind of made you kind of go, whoa, you know, I really need to talk to some more. Well, some I mean, some more men. <clears throat> excuse me, promise it's not COVID. Um, but uh, <laughs> no, I, so unfortunately, um, I got some pretty uh, sad news earlier in the week. Um, Yvonne came home and then she was like, did you hear who passed away or did you hear the news? And I was like, you know, no. And at that point in time, I'm just kind of like, you know, things are racing through my, my mind, you know, did I hear the news? What is it? And, um, you know what, unfortunately, uh, one of my buddies, he's three years older than me, somebody that I used to work with, um, passed away of a massive heart attack. And um, it was just very surreal because he's 50, he was 59 years old. And uh, you know what, his dad passed away young and, you know, just, uh, it was just very surreal. And coincidentally, I spoke to him, you know, a couple of years back about, you know, so I'm a thriver, right? I take thrive, simple steps, one, two, three, the capsules in the morning, the drink, and then also the, uh, the patch. So I spoke to him about that and he was like, Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. And all of that stuff. And you know what? In fact, the reality is, is that uh, he lost a lot of weight. He got on one of those diets um, that basically mm -hmm. 
just in my opinion, aren't the best for you. He lost the weight, but the quality of food that he was eating, you know, just was, uh, was not the best, you know? So he was eating the meat, the bacon, eggs, all of that stuff. But, you know, again, and he did lose weight. He did lose weight, but again, he just uh, died of that uh, massive heart attack. So when she told me, when my wife told me about that, it was like, just, uh, it was it's very surreal. I can only imagine his wife and kids. That's the only thing that keeps on popping up into my head is how, how they're feeling, you know, 59 years old, but it's not that old. How many of you, how many of you have lost a loved one, a friend, um, somebody in your family, a, a coworker at a very young, at young age? I mean, um, our life expectancy has gotten so much longer. I mean, the life expectancy for a man is different than what it was 10, 15 years ago. Um, I mean, so if you've experienced a loss like that, let us know down below. Um, there are some things that, that you can do. It's just not what's in the genetics. There are things that, that um, as in my family history and knowing what my family history is, I'm fortunate to know um, that there are certain things that I needed to make sure that I combat that, and there are certain ways. And yeah, I tried probably know what you talking about is that keto diet is probably what your friend tried. Um, and you know, that that's good, you know, for jump starting things, but you got to know the longevity of what, what it does to your system. Um, and you know, the simplicity of those three steps that you meant, mentioned that you implemented the Yvonne tacked you on to and said, Hey, Henry, you need to do this. Um, tell me a little bit about your experience when you started with those capsules and that lifestyle mix and, and that, that sticker on your arm, what in the world happened to you on that, on that, those, that, that first couple weeks there, that day, um, one, day three one, three and 10, um, were for me, that it happened on like the second week. That's when I kind of like noticed things. Um, I honestly wasn't really giving it a lot of, um, I wasn't paying it the, um, the homage, if you will, about, you know, like giving it credit um, because the first few days and stuff like that, I, I did notice that I was a little bit more productive. My uh, mental clarity uh, was there much better, uh, more focused and able to achieve things a little bit better. Um, so I wasn't really kind of giving it any credit, but then after the second week, I did realize, you know, I wake up, jump in the shower, and in the shower, <laughs> and got to get in a little personal here, but you know what, I, I clean my whole body, and I also shave and I brush my teeth in the shower, so I'm in there for a while. But while all of this stuff is happening, I'm thinking about, you know, appointments, proposals, different things that I have to do throughout the day. So I'm kind of like already categorizing, knowing what I have to do. So when I get out of that shower, I mean, boom, I'm off to the races. So that second week is when I kind of like mm -hmm. caught myself um, and recognizing that that's what I was doing. So, and that's what I really gave Thrive credit for, for that mental clarity, that energy, and kind of like lifting up the fog, especially first thing in the morning. So, um. so you're right you know that mental clarity is is first thing in the morning sometimes how much how many times have you like gotten up beforehand and go oh, and you just can't get going and you're in the car realizing you're still half asleep so after the mental clarity what were some of the other other things now i understand that maybe you didn't even follow directions to well, begin with beth i'm a guy that's, is that true? I'm a guy. You're a guy. I'm I mean, a guy. And the thing is that my <laughs> wife actually started it. Um, and then she gave me, I think it was like November of 2015, right? She gave me and she told me, hey, take the two capsules, take the drink 20 to 40 minutes afterwards and slap the patch on, right? Simple, simple instructions. Mm -hmm. But I didn't write them down. Didn't think about them or anything like that. I was like, yeah, okay, all right, all right sure, I've got all that stuff. So, you know what? I'd wake up, forget to take the capsules, be downstairs, and then I'd see her, and she's got you thriving. It's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. So I'd grab the drink, and so I was just kind of like doing the steps, some of the steps, and missing some of the steps, all of that stuff. And uh, afterwards, it was like, you know what, babe, this isn't really doing anything for me. 
But what she did was she sat me down and she was like, hey, look, do me a favor. Just give me 30 days. That's all I ask. 30 days. Take them the way you're supposed to take them. And if it doesn't work, I promise I will not tell you to do it again. I won't bug you or anything of that nature. And um, so, you know what? Uh, I love my wife, so I did it. And, you know, again, guys, I'm a stubborn Latin male. <laughs> you know, for the first week, I, yeah, I, I mean, I, the first the week I wasn't really giving it credit. I was thinking it's just me because that's how guys roll. And then uh, afterwards, I kind of recognized what it was actually doing and helping me pro be productive, um, you know, from, you know, from a bunch of different angles. I mean, from mental clarity to physical endurance to physical strength. I mean, just helped me kind of like keep on going. And, and if you guys um, will go and, and when we're done here, don't leave now, right? But go back and look at the stories because you could see a picture where I, that I put that we put up of Henry Vaughn prior to him starting this nutritional um, supplement uh, called Thrive, and he changed drastically. And then there's um, progression of the change. And so, yeah, you've really gone from not really being active and fit but you also had changed that drastically but i also understand from what you told me that your dietary um your diet changed because you started craving um, different foods yeah you know what it's, it's kind of funny because in 2000 well that's i'm a guy so we think we are all in great shape it doesn't matter whether we wear a 36 38 40 42 waist i mean that's what it's supposed to be you know that's that's how we justify things. But, you know, so in 2015, mm -hmm. I was a 36 waist, right? Thir between like a 36 and a 38, right? So as time progressed and I started taking Thrive, I started, you know, doing more exercise. And at that point in time, you know, before I started, I thought I was in good shape. I go play basketball. I do different things. So in my mind, it's like, hey, I'm in great shape. But... As time went on, I started taking Thrive. I started playing basketball, uh, um, or I was playing basketball, but I was playing more basketball. I was playing tennis, doing all these different things. But you know what? I had energy to keep on going. Guys that I was playing with were much younger than I was. So they had, their endurance was, you know, supposedly better than mine, but I was kind of like keeping up. So mm -hmm. that kind of like helped me. So I did kind of like lose some weight. Right. And again, I'm thinking, fantastic. I am in great shape. I'm perfect. Right. But as time goes on and, you know, so just to give you an idea, my uh, I get a physical every year, which is important in my opinion. So and I highly recommend that to, for everybody out there. Yeah. Um, and I even had kind of like a heart scan done, something that you can get at your local hospital. In it. Uh, it's not that expensive, but it will give you an idea. I'll give you like a percentage of what the probabilities are of you having some sort of a, you know, anyways, not to get into all that medical stuff, but, um, but as time went on, I kind of like noticed that instead of me getting kind of like more tired and having to stop and not being able to plan things, you know what? I was actually ramping up. So I was playing more basketball, more tennis, running, just doing all these different things. And then what happened? What happened? What like uh, seven months ago? What happened? What What was the big thing that happened seven months ago? Everybody, everybody stay, started staying at home, raiding the pantry, and eating everything in sight because they were bored to death and didn't know how, what to do with the transition that struck everybody. And still, there's so many people that are stuck because they continue to tip the scale in the wrong direction and not hitting their wellness goals. But well, I understand you know what, Beth, it's different. kind of like this. If you're going and you're basically heading somewhere, you've got a destination that you've got to go to, and you come up on an obstacle, there's a couple of, you've got to do, think about it in a few different ways. You either go over it, around it, underneath mm -hmm. it, or you just try and go right through it, right? But you've got to overcome that obstacle. It's not going to hold you back. And you're right. I hear about so many people gaining so much weight over this COVID thing. 
And realistically, you know, I can understand them. Um, a lot of the gyms closed down. Everything was kind of like shut. So it's kind of like, okay, fine. Now you're at home. So now you have to work out at home. Well, not everybody has a gym in their house. I'm one of those guys who doesn't. But what did I do? I went out and I got a pull-up bar. So I've got a pull-up bar. But one thing that I started doing was running more. I was running like two times a week before. And I remember, you know what? I would run like two miles or three miles. But since I, that was the only outlet I had, okay, fine. Now I had to focus, okay, where am I going to do my running? I'll do push-ups, sit-ups at the house, pull-ups, all of that stuff at the house. But running was something that I had to kind of like keep on doing, do it, run, 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 run. So I went from, you know, two miles to three miles to running like five to seven miles mm -hmm. per time. In fact, like about two weeks ago, I ran 13.1 miles. That's a half marathon. I just I, I, on a Saturday, just kind of like I figured, okay, fine, I'm going to do a long run. Ran 13.1 miles. In fact, in September, I ran 100 miles to bring awareness to soldier suicide, right? That's one thing that I, so it was kind of like a commitment there. And, you know, everybody says, well, I don't like to run. You know what? I don't think anybody really likes to run. But getting some headphones in there and things. And, and what I can say, Beth, is over the last six months, I lost about like 15 to 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. I'm the lightest I've been in I don't know how long. I was always tipping the scales about like 195. I'm like at 175 right now, right? Mm -hmm. So waist size, you know how I was talking about like 38. I mean, I'm like a 32, 30, between 32, 34 waist. I had my, absolutely. Had and not only that, that but the thing is that, you know what, other <laughs> huge benefits. As I mentioned, I get a physical every single year. Well, every single year they do my blood work. So mm -hmm. I can tell you, most, most people, you know yes. what, your you things you know, go, I should say, the readings and, and the, the results don't go in a favorable direction, right? Things go higher and higher and higher. Well, in my case, you know what, it actually went down in a good way. So everything was, was very right. positive. So. I'm in the best shape that I've been in, in a very long time. I'm, I'm pretty psyched. I'm pretty stoked about it. And, and, it's, and it's the, the consistency of, um, of, of taking care of yourself that begins every morning with putting in the right nutrition in your body so that you have the energy to, uh, that your body is able to absorb everything that's in, that goes in in an appropriate way so that you can expend it in the right way. And I would take a guess, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were in the military yeah. in your younger years, um, but you probably yeah. are um, just as fit, if not more fit, well, than you were in those years um, because you're taking care of and you're eating better. Well, I was, uh, I was pretty young then too, too, but uh, yeah, you know what? I was, uh, when I went into the Army, I weighed 144 pounds. When I got out, I weighed 165 pounds. But I was. I was in a fantastic shape. But realistically, if you think about it, wow, 30-something years later, well, uh, yeah, 30, almost 40 years later, yeah. I mean, I, the difference is 10 pounds. 10 pounds, you know? So, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, I, I think, what's that? And Henry, how old are you? How oh, old are you? Um, I'm I'm 56. Can't you tell? Yeah, absolutely. You're 56. Look at that. No. <laughs> See, it's lean muscle that when you get your nutrition on point, that is go your body is able to produce the lean muscle because it's it's working like a machine is supposed to it's like putting the high octane into it as opposed to <laughs> the really low grade stuff right put the high octane into your body so that you can be there so you can be present and you know what so that um henry's goal i know is to stick around as long as he can by taking care of himself because he's got family to take care of um and you know he's got he's got a secret if you guys want to know more about this secret we are here to help you we want you to feel as good um and get your nutrition get your 
your, get your wellness on, get your body in a prime condition. We don't care how old you are. You're going to feel 10, 15 years younger like we do. Um, and, you know, being, it, being in your 50s is not getting old anymore, guys. So come on, reach out to whoever invited you here. And thanks for being with us. We've got lots of people on. Thanks, Pat and Wait, Amber, Beth. for being here. We appreciate Beth, you it. See that, Who else? Do you see Who that person missing? right there? Yeah. Do you see that person right there? Not not that person, but right looking at the camera. Do you see that other person? Not me. I'm not talking about me. Do you see that person? Because that person is the one who needs to thrive the most. The one who's looking right now. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. You need to thrive the most. So you want to know something? And you yeah, make a ask, comment. Absolutely. Make a comment or reach out and things. You know, it, just ask some questions, whatever it is that you want to know. Because in all honesty, so many people, there's so many things going on out there right now. It's, it's not even funny. But realistically, if there's something that can help you, why wouldn't you even check it out, right? That's right. Let us design a plan for you. Let us coach you into wellness. We are here for you. We are champions at doing this um, and getting you on track. And we can design something just especially for you. So reach out to us. Our mission is to reach others and to get other people thriving along with us so that you can feel better and that so you can be present for your family in every aspect that you can think of. Henry, go we'll have do. a good day with your, with your Thanks, wife Beth. and enjoy your evening. Thanks for catching right. um, the live before you go Bye. off.